You are what we call monkey meat. Monkey meat. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep that distance, I think. Now this is a lion mange jellyfish over here. Uh, they're reasonably benign, but they do know how to give a good sting if they want to. Mm. So, John, how's my kayak technique? Well, uh, don't give up your day job, <laughs> okay? The, what happens is it's all in the, all the power comes from the push. From the push. So if you think about a boxer, he gets all his power by pushing straight from his shoulder out. Ah, yes. So your, your hand closest to the water uh -huh. is basically just to guide the paddle. You don't have to hold the paddle tight. See how, much, see how loose my fingers are like this? Never let your hand get above your eyes. Uh -huh. And just push straight. It's all Newtonian physics. For every action, there's an equal but opposite reaction. Your hands are too high again there. Uh -huh. OK? Down a little lower, just push straight ahead, just like that. Ah, uh, I see. And then when you get that down, we'll, we'll cover complicated things like paddling in a straight line. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, here we are. We're at the Bat Cave, Robin, uh, Toby. <laughs> I'm right with you, Batman. I, I mean, Caveman. <laughs> OK, so this, this rock that was sticking out there is actually the remnants of the shelf that made this a double cave just like all the other caves before. The fault line is so big. You see all these swallows, all these holes up in the ceiling here, that so much water came down through that it literally melted that shelf out, which is why the ceiling of this cave is so much higher than the other caves right, that we right. go through, right? So uh, it's just, just an amazing cave. It's about 260 meters long. And uh, we get in a little further, we're going to see some bats here, so. Is there I, anything else we should be uh, looking out for? Uh, crazy Australians. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, nothing dangerous. Oh, right sure, there. yeah. Th this was the epicenter of saltwater clock range. Really? So they went all the way from northern Australia to Sri Lanka. We're right in the middle here, right? But no more now. No more now. They've all been hunted out. But oh. when I first came here, you're saying if there's any left, it's gonna be in the back of one of these caves. So when I got in this cave the first time, the water was so high, you couldn't get through without swimming. So I didn't go into the home the first time. It was another month before I came back when the tide was lower and we actually got through. So it's, maybe it's big adventure to go exploring, but you've yeah. gotta know your limits. You do, right. Yeah. And I'm very cautious. I'm, I'm a crazy lunatic, but I'm a cautious one. Cautious lunatic. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is what you call a swallowed up here. And this is where all the water comes down, all the way from the very top of the island. You can just imagine how much water comes down through here in good heavy rain. Beautiful stuff. This is, this is what creates the stalactites themselves, right? Mm -hmm. is, the process is called percolation, same as coffee. So what happens is the rainwater will come down through the island. It will dissolve the calcium carbonate molecules that become saturated in the water. Then they'll come down and start dripping off a stalactite, and that's how a stalactite grows. Every time there's a drip, a few more molecules will stay bonded to the stalactite. OK, here we come around the corner. Oh, wow, there's the bats, man. Oh, beautiful. John candidly suggested to me that while I was in the bat cave, to cover my neck and keep my mouth closed when looking up at an awe at the bats. Yeah, all this idiom about blind as a bat, don't believe it. Really? Yeah, really, man. The bats have very sensitive eyes, so don't shine your light on them too long. Oh, okay. You know, I've been coming here for 20 years. I've never seen these bats outside the cave. I come in here 24 hours a day. Maybe they're eating all those wasps out at the entrance. As this very dedicated man paddles on in his eternal eco-quest, I have time to reflect on what he has said and done as I continue on my newfound eco-voyage. <laughs>